Let's discuss the drug and disease interactions and learn about their consequences. Let's begin with the respiratory failure. In case of respiratory failure, we need to avoid opiates because it can result in respiratory depression. Next is epilepsy. In case of epilepsy, we need to avoid tricyclic antidepressants and antipsychotics. Otherwise it will result in reduced seizure threshold. In case of asthma, we need to avoid beta blockers. Because there is risk of bronchospasm. In case of chronic liver disease, we need to avoid warfarin, otherwise it may result in bleeding. The patients of heart failure need to avoid calcium channel blockers, NSAIDs and steroids. The use of drugs from these classes can cause sodium retention. The next disease is hypertension. In case of hypertension, we need to avoid NSAIDs, otherwise it may worsen the hypertension. Also in case of renal failure, we need to avoid NSAIDs, because it may cause nephrotoxicity. In case of Parkinson's disease, we need to avoid COX-2 inhibitors, because it may result in worsening of the symptoms. I hope you've found it helpful for remembering common drug and disease interactions. For more informative videos, subscribe to our channel. And hit the bell icon.